Hello, my fellow felines. This is Kitty Cat, Plays with the Yarn here, and welcome to another speed build. And in this video, I'm going to be building a tiny house. And I'm building a tiny house today because that's right, we're getting the tiny house stuff back tomorrow. And uh, at this current moment, I don't know if I'm getting it or not, uh, because reasons or whatever. But um, I wanted to build a tiny house anyway, just because, um, honestly, I'm starting to kind of really like them, but I also kind of feel as though all of my tiny houses are the same. And I want any of you that have watched like any of my tiny compact houses to let me know what you think in the comments, because every time I build one I just feel like they're the same thing on the outside and the only thing that really changes is like the interior and even then it doesn't change that much. Like, I feel like they have the same shape and all that kind of stuff, and I, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of the fact that mine have been so repetitive. But I guess this one is a little different compared to some of the other ones I've been doing. Um, this one has brick on it, which I don't normally do, and like, I don't know. And it has glass roofs, and I don't think I've been doing many glass roofs lately either. Um, which I don't know why, because I really love them. I just feel like I guess sometimes they're kind of hard to incorporate. Um, but this this one, it worked really well, and I'm actually uh, pretty proud of this house. Um, I just, I really like how it turned out, and this is one of the houses uh, that I actually built in one whole sitting. And if you guys know me at all, or have listened to like any of my other speed builds, you'll know that I'm like, oh yeah, um, I built this in like three sittings because I'm just so antsy sometimes where I just, I can't like do a house in one whole sitting unless it's small like this. Um, so like if I were doing like a two bedroom house, like a simple like suburban house, I couldn't do it all in one sitting. But this... I managed. And I'm glad I managed because I feel like if I had gone away from this and then came back to it, I would have came back to it and been like, ew, I hate it. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, that's been happening a lot recently um, when I've been building because I'll build like the shell of like a, I don't know, lately it's been like suburban houses um, because I'm trying to uh, fill up Willow Creek, which Obviously, we're still, like, in early January, but, well, late January when you're seeing this. Um, but, like, lately I've been building suburban houses and I'll, like, do the exterior and sometimes the layout or whatever. And then I'll, like, stop and, like, get a snack or something and then I'll come back to it and I'll be like, oh my god, I hate it. Wow. Um, <laughs> so that's been happening to me a lot and um, I don't know if I would call it builder's block or what I'd call it, but... Uh, whatever it is, it sucks. Um, and funny enough, uh, semi-related to this, I guess, that's been happening whenever I paint my nails as well. Um, I've been, like, I'll paint my nails, and they'll be done, and I'll be like, okay, they're, like, fine. And then I'll finish them, and I'll be like, okay, wow, I hate them, and just take it off, like, the next day. But with that being said, I'm gonna try to paint them again today. Um, and I think my issue is, like, I've just been trying to do too much to them lately, so I think I'm just gonna, like, paint them one color and do that, because last time I did that, uh, I actually liked them, so I think that's what'll be happening this time as well. But who knows? And, um, I don't even know what we're doing right now. We're working on just, like, getting flooring and stuff down. Uh, this little section that I'm doing right now is gonna be the kitchen, and I think the kitchen is really cute. Uh, I always love kitchens, and according to Renee, I'm like the kitchen queen. Um, and this one is like, it's kind of small, but it's really cute, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Uh, I love the stone, I love the flooring I use, I use jungle adventure stuff, because I love jungle adventure stuff, what's new? Um, and yeah, I don't know, I was just really happy with it. Uh, though I wanted to use the, the appliances from Parenthood, uh, because they have a very 
specific colorway on the stove and the fridge. And it's like a dark teal blue kind of color and I desperately wanted to use that so it would go with the floors in here. Um, but I didn't end up doing that because the fridge has like the cabinet around it. Which, don't get me wrong, I love the cabinet that's around it. But um, I kind of wish we had an option that didn't have the cabinet around it as well for situations like this. But uh, otherwise, you know, I love it. <laughs> so now we're just uh, putting a little bit of clutter on the counters. And I don't know why, but I really love how this little corner section turned out. Um, I don't know. It's just like cute little storage area. And uh, I'm, I don't know. I really like it. And uh, you may have noticed I raised up some of the, uh, some outdoor lights uh, to go like through the half wall to make them look like they're like in the half wall or whatever And I did that because uh, the kitchen is one of the sections that has the glass roof over it and um, You can't well, I mean you can um, But it looks weird if you put a ceiling light uh, in a room that has a glass roof so I put uh, those there and then I end up putting some wall lights above every window as well and I think that lights it up really well and then obviously we get like the light coming in from the like section that's not that doesn't have the glass roof which is um honestly not much of this room it's like from the wall that blocks off the kitchen and the entry over and like that's the only part that doesn't really have a glass roof because I made the front part have one as well because I just love glass roofs and I don't know what else to tell you. Um, this house uses quite a bit of the packs. Um, obviously there's jungle adventure stuff there. I think those chairs are cool kitchen. The table is city living. Uh, the windows and the doors are from Get Famous. And um, probably other, I mean definitely other packs as well. I have no, I have no question about that. Um, but that's just kind of how I roll because, uh, you know, I don't often do limited pack builds, but I want to try and do one again. Um, I have some ideas to do some builds uh, with a stuff pack, a game pack, and an expansion pack, but I just haven't done them yet. Um, I have like the ideas written down and everything because I've recently gotten into that actually. I recently downloaded Evernote uh, for SSY reasons and um, I'm starting to use it for like pretty much everything now so um, there's that and the reasoning behind that is actually uh, <laughs> at one point I wanted to recover a note that I had on my phone but I had deleted it so I went through the steps of like I don't even remember what it's called, but like resetting, but like recovering everything. Um, and in short, everything was recovered except my notes. So therefore, I did that entire process and was without a phone for like two days um, for dumb complications uh, for no reason. So um, yeah, don't do that unless you have, yeah, it's... It's the stupidest, honestly. Um, honestly, it kind of made me really mad, but, you know. Um, and I felt really dumb the entire time. I was like, wow, I'm so millennial. Like, I can't live without my phone. Wah. And I was very self-aware of that. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of entertained by that. But that's just how it goes. Also, this is my first voiceover I'm recording uh, since this has happened. But your girl got a Max's fave. Uh, on the trailer that I posted, when did I post it? Hold on, let me check my planner. I think I posted it on the 15th? Yeah, I posted it last Wednesday. Um, and I got a Max's fave on that, and, um, I almost cried and I was shaking. Um, because I, I never, I've never gotten a Max's fave before. Um, and I was just like, really happy and everything um and like also my channel's starting to grow a little more my twitter's starting to get more interaction and just like i don't know i'm i'm getting a hope back in my channel 
Um, because I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of losing hope. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna stay at like 150 subscribers forever. Um, but now, as of recording this, we're at like 165, um, and we're growing, and I'm excited, and I'm hopeful again, which is difficult for me to say because I almost never say I'm hopeful because I'm super pessimistic, but I'm hopeful and I'm happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, things are going well in terms of the channel, which uh, is amazing, honestly. Um, but on a side note, <laughs> um, the day I'm recording this is very cold. It's like, well, not very cold. It's cold for how it's been lately. Lately it's been like in the 30s, you know, like maybe 40s if we're lucky. Um, and today it's like 20, which is fine. Like we're used to it, but, um, it's cold for how it's been recently. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be like in the fifties and then, <laughs> and then the day after tomorrow, we're supposed to get an ice storm, an ice storm. I hate New England with a passion. I'm just like... <laughs> this happens so much. Like, the weather, it just goes back and forth all the time. And, like, no. It's, I, ugh, it's the most annoying thing. And, like, ugh, we're I don't have to go out Sunday at all, neither does my boyfriend or anything. But I'm still, like, super anxious about it. Um, because, like, driving in the snow makes me anxious and... Um, and, like, storms like that make me anxious anyway, just because, like, I don't know, what if people I love are dumb and out or something? I don't know. Um, like, I know most people won't be, because, like, a lot of places are, like, closing already for it, and, um, people are like, hey, like, don't go on the roads on Sunday, it's stupid. Um, but, like, I'm, I'm still, like, really anxious about it, that's just kind of how I am. Um... And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not excited for it, but say la vie, I guess. That's not, that doesn't belong there, Jen. What are you saying? Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I'm, mm. Anyway, uh, we're on to the backyard now, and there isn't much out here. Frankly, I don't remember what I put out here. There's the grill and the picnic table and, like, a little bit of seating. Um, and I put the trash can out back, and there's something else I put in the yard, I think, but I... Ah, I put a fire pit. Which makes sense for this house. I was gonna put, like, some kid stuff, but I was like, no, it's a one-bedroom. What, what are you doing? But, um, yeah, I ended up putting a fire pit. Uh, so we are coming to the end of the video, so I am going to go. But I will see you all in the next video. Bye, friends. I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to become a pop parent because I post new videos all the time. And I will see you all in the next video. 